Ah, the view, the view, the view, the view, view. To the porch. Beautiful fall, but warm fall morning. I love it. I just get confused when the camera's facing. In fact, let me switch it around. Oh, it's facing the right way. Good morning. This is the Colonel. The hill broke loose. Hell broke loose. So just enjoying my, just finished. Actually, you know what? It would, would be perfect right now. Hmm. Yes. That's better. So good morning. I know it's been a kind of a, a dry season of updates here on Hellbroke Loose. It's because I've been working like a real American. Like a hard working American. Actually been working on a lot of cool projects lately. Um, both for clients and personally. And uh, some stuff that's going to be coming out in the next month or two that will be very fun. I'm venturing out into some new areas and uh, really excited about releasing some of this material and content. I've never been good at making things and holding on to them and executing the plan, as it were. Uh, so this is, this, is, this is stressful for me, working and making things and then just having to sit on them. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. But it's been keeping me busy. And there's been so much going on and just uh, politically, uh, since that's the main topic of my my rants usually, um, that yeah, there's just been so much and so many voices and just, I don't know, I haven't really felt the need to comment. I've just been watching and uh, observing and taking names. Um, haven't really perused Facebook very much uh, to see what's going on there um, there's definitely the usual idiocracy that I see the leftist and everything um, but also I've seen a lot more pro-Trump stuff uh, than maybe I did a month ago at least um, it's odd though the judge report the judge report has been I don't know what happened to that man or if he's dead and he's been replaced, I don't know. Um, but good Lord. Uh, part of me thinks it's, it's a strategy. But, I mean, it's, it's just all negative about Trump on Drudge Report and, and, and across mainstream media for the most part, um, which is no surprise. That was expected. Uh, but, you know, the Drudge Report typically is more conservative-leaning in its selection of things. 
And now it's just like, you know, it's, it's doom and gloom for Donald Trump. And uh, part of me thinks it's because, like, it's the number one, like, conservative place to go. So, like, it's, it might be just a massive get-out-the-vote ploy. Um, if so, it's brilliant because I think it is. Um, so, you know, I've since seen all the headlines. and It seems like both sides are basically... It seems like the left is making the exact same mistake again. Um, at the last possible moment, uh, just like last time, it's so amazing. Uh, but whereas I think all, m the Trump base was somewhat demotivated just three, four weeks ago, and it is now on fire. Um, the whole it's like the whole deplorable thing all over again. It's like as always the the party of hate, the party of the Southern Democratic plantations, the party of Jim Crow and segregation uh, is once again doing all the things that it does, um, both their propaganda and just, just hate and divisiveness. And uh, again, it's, I think it's rallying up the Trump base again, which is unifying, uh, it's desegregated. It is very, very open. Um, and now you're seeing like these huge black and Latino, uh, surges, which I've been calling for a long time not just for Trump, but just for the Republican Party in general and the conservative movement. And, and Republicans, you know, really encompass a good bit of the libertarian and center uh, moderates uh, typically hold conservative values, um, even if they're liberal on the local level, which is sort of what I am. Uh, I believe in, I like local liberalism. Um, I believe in minimal government and that really this is a, this is I do not like uh, democracy I, I, I gotta make a shirt I heard the most beautiful phrase yesterday it was just some like fuck it was one of these uh, conservative MAGA trolls that was like trolling a bunch of like you know feminist Biden supporters with like a giant bullhorn or something uh, those things typically aggravate me but this was a particularly funny one because like at one point the girl he, he, the guy's like uh, walking past this, this, this like you know whatever feminist uh and and he says we're making the country great for you too and they said well we believe in democracy and what was his quote uh democracy democracy is cringe read some aristotle <laughs> so democracy is cringe read aristotle uh i want a t-shirt it says that democracy is cringe read aristotle because it really has become one of those situations where people have gotten so stupid through the media and just the the, the crappy education system we have now. I mean, it has seriously declined. And you have people getting degrees that are m less educated than people that skip college altogether at this point. I'm talking about educated in the sense of classical understanding of history, a practical understanding of the world that we're living in, the actual realities on the ground, the real world, real people. You know, instead of getting into these little bubbles of uh, insanity, they end up they go out and they have to they actually have to inter interact and 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 get to know the real world and not just what people say about it. And you get a different caliber of people. Blah 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 blah. About to ran off onto something that has really nothing to do with what I'm talking about, um, which was really the uh, I was going back to the Drudge Report and how that's you know that it's rallying up the base. I think. Uh, by having all this negative Trump news, because basically it makes it look like, you know, MAGA's in danger and, um, you know, so get out the vote. Whereas, like, three weeks ago, four weeks ago, but really before pre-COVID, though, especially, Trump winning was just pretty much a guarantee. And, um, you know, that could have actually cost Trump the election if that if we had gone into the election with that mentality. Um, because, that, you know, people just figure everybody else is going out to vote. Why should I? Um, but all the negativity and the hatred from the left, um, of course, the assaults, the violence, like, you know, somebody got shot at with a shotgun yesterday, uh, just a Trump supporter, uh, by somebody planting a Biden sign, he honked at him, the dude pulled out a shotgun and, like, fucking tried to shoot him in his truck. I mean, that's that's the left for you. Uh, got the black guy that got his teeth punched out, yeah, got his teeth punched out by the, uh, the white racist leftist Antifa. Stop! 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 Stop!
it was just it was just ridiculous it's just ridiculous and insane um the violence of the left so my battery's about to die so i gotta move in so i can put this thing down on a on a charger wasn't really planning to make a video yet this morning when i came out just kind of decided to go with it got the joe rogan on not sure what interview's on right now I remember that guy Yeah, there we go. Might be poor lighting. I'm sorry if it is. Not the best angle of me, Jesus. There is no good angle of me. You just have to look. Oh, look at that. Yes. Yes. My hair reminds me of my uh, Trump troll doll. I could do that if my hair weren't pulled back in a pony. I actually have really long hair. And uh, I keep it pulled back. And it always fuzzes out. It's okay, though. This isn't a beauty contest, and I'm certainly not winning one if it was. Let me stop this, Joe Rogan. But, yeah, I think I think the uh, everything that I'm seeing, man, I am super ecstatic about this election i can't wait to see it um i don't know what's going to happen obviously nobody knows um but i'm telling you man it has all the signs that i'm looking for um and it's just getting more and more it's just falling perfectly into line with 2016 and yeah i hear all the pundits and you know i see all the polls um but just in the past 24 to 48 hours, if you're looking at like the Politico's, not Politico, the website, but the different um, talking head pundits, um, especially on some of these bylines, uh, they, they are now basically voicing that, yeah, we've been hyping it a lot, but these margins, these, these lines are margin thin um, on the, between Trump and Biden, especially in the key battleground states. There is no massive victory. There's no wave in the making, as we can see. It might be a red wave, but I don't see the blue wave. I don't see any... any. Uh, I just see the same viciousness, anger, hatred towards Trump, hatred, you know, prejudgment, prejudice against the half the country, um, largely based on skin color um, and these preconceived notions and stereotypes that the left you know, spews out and is driving, you know, mass, mass numbers of blacks and Hispanics and other immigrant, um, just populations, demographics in general, Arabs, Indians, like they are driving them to Trump. Um, there's a mass exodus currently occurring, um, from the democratic party towards the moderate center. And I, I think, you know, it's not really that they're moving. It's just that, you know, the left keeps going, moving further left, and like the real, the voices of it are the, you know, my Facebook friends, and it's just like you look at them and you're like Jesus, you know, Ugh. you know, what have you got to say, um, except just whining, complaining, bitching, cursing, um, and just hate, hate and hate and jealousy, envy, greed, and that you name it, uh, it's just a very miserable uh, party. Can you get off my property? Get off my property? Are you destroying my property? Yes, we are. You know that's a felony? Give me that one too. You don't get that one. Get away from your ass. Get the fuck out. Get it, Liam. Get it. Touch my hat. Take your ass hat. That's somebody else's hat. Take that off my hat. Get your hat back, baby. Look at what you just did to my son. Get your hat back, baby. Get your hat back, baby. Give me back my hat. 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 
follow you right now. You're, you're gonna just, you're gonna steal my property? Yep. I'll follow you to your car and get your license plate. I'm walking. Mom, I live in call town. 911. Call you want me to call 911? You want me to call 911? Taylor, no. Taylor, these people right here are taking your hat. Yeah. They attacked my son. I have it on video. 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 Yeah, you wanna try me? You wanna try me? You wanna try me? I the whole thing on video. And Joe Biden is just not motivating it. Um, now I do think it'll be obviously a historic turnout. I think that's largely due to mail ins. And dude, I tell you what, I think based on the numbers we're seeing and the registered mails mail in votes, um, the Democrats, you know that that landslide went uh, mail in number that they were looking for they are not on track for that right now at all knowing the surge of republican voters and conservative voters that are going to come out and the libertarians um, when you look at the breakdowns of these numbers currently as they are um, i don't see that in those numbers i don't see how those numbers they can get the numbers that they need that they were counting on um in these mail imbalance there are crap tons of Trump mail-in ballots coming, I'm telling you right now. Um, but certainly, the, just based on the registered, registered, you know, registered mail-in ballots. And yeah, a lot of conservatives and Republicans are going to actually go vote in person and sign the affidavit to cancel their mail-in, so a lot of those won't go in. Um, but those numbers just aren't going to be high enough, man. Not the way it's looking right now. Um, because again, the Democratic Party is not motivated and just hate, hatred and division, hate Trump, orange man bad, is just not, there's no positive thing there. And then Joe Biden, Sleepy Joe, I mean, he is fucking ridiculous. It is embarrassing. And it's, at this point, like, it is a plus for him when Trump makes fun of him because he's so pathetic and it, you really genuinely feel terribly sorry for Joe Biden because like he is in he is in mental decline and he's feeble and he's old and like he has no steam left and I'm talking like I don't think he can make it another year or two years before like he's going to be he's going to require a certain amount of care um and that's just not going to cut it and then Kamala the narc you know, that's that's great. I just don't see it. You know, they're pushing black people away in droves. That's and that's like basically the key d demographic of the Democratic Party ever since they held them on plantations. So, watching the exodus occur, it's it's exciting. It's humbling, and I'm almost through with blackout. I can't believe how well put together it is and the impact it's having. I mean, it's still sold out. I don't know if it's still sold out on Amazon, um, but I'm ordering a couple of copies. We're going to do a giveaway, and they're, they're still you can't just get them same day. Um, they are reach they are reshaping, but not just that. But you know, you got Larry Elder, um, and this is bringing back like a revolution of Thomas Sowell or a, a, a renaissance of like the Thomas Sowell, the early early black renaissance thinkers of the of the uh, Jim Crow era. Um, it's just amazing to see, uh, and it's exciting uh, because all these, all these, all these hateful, insane de Democrats, um, and really the leftists. It's not even so much the Democrats. The Democrats are just too weak to fight the leftists in their own midst. Um, but like their 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 story about the the. the conservatives being racist and MAGA being racist is just coming apart at the seams as you see more and more of these mixed faces at these Trump rallies and not just at the rallies but like really on like influencing um I mean we see what Ice Cube Ice Cube is breaking away and it's not even and it's the exact same reason that all the other you know blacks that have been essentially used and abused by the Democratic Party and brainwashed through, you know, old policies. Um, they're being chased away by the left. They're not, they're, it's not, it's not that they're being lured by the right. 
Ice Cube, Ice Cube is, you know, the, in, oh gosh, go back and check it out. Type in uh, Google search or, or YouTube uh, Ice Cube and Andrew Como interview. And just watch how he try. He, like he's basically, at one point it turns into the same thing you always see when there's a black guy or a colored person or an ethnic person or whatever you want to call them talking to some like straight edged, white privileged, you know, talking head. And like, as soon as they get off the plantation and stop talking in the exact same speak, you, they, the, it goes from coddling them, the interviews, they stop coddling them and they suddenly start like trying to educate them and mansplaining to black people. It's amazing. Watch the Andrew Como with Ice Cube. Ice Cube is hardcore fucking anti-Trump or was. Arrest the president. You got the evidence. Arrest the president. Arrest the president. I mean, he was like, I mean, and he's white privileged. He's black privileged. How about that? He's American privileged. Whatever, you, whatever you want to call that. Um, he he grew up with a, in a family with uh, two parents. He was sent bust across to a great school. He went to private school. He got a good education. Um, he never had to, you know. He's, you know, and he's built. He's built. A, he's become a, a millionaire times over. Um, and could be really the poster child for the Democrats, right? Um, and really, you know, hated Trump. And now uh, you see him reaching out to Biden and Trump, and Biden's campaign doesn't want to deal with him with this this contract with Black America. And I don't know much about the contract for Black America. Um, I've heard about it, but I have not read it, and I'm not. I don't really have a clear understanding of it. Um, but uh, Ice Cube is behind this and reached out to both parties and, you know, hey, I want I want to discuss this program, this contract with Black America solutions for, you know, solving the division and racism and the institutional racism in this country. And what did the Democrats do? Oh, we'll talk about it after the election. Oh, we don't want to talk about that right now. What does Trump do? Let's talk. It's no shock that Ice Cube got some heat for deciding uh, to work with the Trump administration. He wants to deal with it. I want to understand it. So, so should you. So here is Ice Cube on prime time. Thank you for taking the opportunity, brother. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me, uh, Chris. Uh, your lead-ins are a little misleading. How so? Um, well, the platinum plan is not my plan. I came up with the contract with Black America um, and I didn't run to go work with any campaign. Both campaigns contacted me. Both campaigns wanted to talk to me about the contract with Black America. One campaign said, we love what you have, but let's really dig into it after the election. And one campaign said, we love what you have. Uh, what, do you mind talking to us about it? And that's what I did. So I didn't run to nobody. And uh, so that was real misleading to me. Um, well, I didn't say you ran you know, to anybody. I said that you had taken a pivot. Well, you, you, you said I ran over to the Trump team instead of the Biden team. That's just not true. Uh, well, they both but you are working with me. the Trump team instead I, of the Biden team and people are giving you heat for it. What do you say to them? Well, I'm willing to work with both teams, but I'm just working with whoever is willing to work with me. And I'm going to speak to them about our problems specifically. I'm not going there talking about minorities. I'm not going there talking about people of color or diversity or none of that stuff. I'm going there for black Americans, the ones who are the descendants of slaves. And that's what I'm going to talk to anybody who's in power with that. So if anybody got a problem with that, it seems like a personal problem. Well, here's the problem, and it is very personable, personal, as you know, for a lot of people of color, because they'll say, well, why would you pick Trump when he says there's no such I'm thing as systemic nobody. inequality? Say not picking nobody. He's the president. Let's talk about it. You know, same with Kim Kardashian and Kanye. Um, you know, and before you know it, 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 another hater is Snoop Dogg. I bet you before you know it, Snoop Dogg will be hanging out in the White House. I mean, it's coming. You know, fuck the red wave and the blue wave. The fucking black wave is coming. I'm telling you guys, it's coming. I see it everywhere. And if, you, if you're looking for it, you're seeing it everywhere. You know, the only people that don't see it are those that just focus in on these stupid fucking headlines. They're the same people that don't see, didn't see the red wave 
or the blue wave or anything, anything, anything. They just see headlines. And those are increasingly just not dependable for me. They just don't make any sense. Um, the polls don't make any sense. Just look up, look at the Trump rallies. Just look at them. And not just the Trump rallies. Just look at the the general videos on YouTube outside of mainstream media on politics. You know, take out the Tucker Carlson's and the, all the other ones, like, and all the MSNBC and all that, and just like, like the channels, private channels. Conservatism is dominating right now in the thought, in the world of, the, of thinking, in the culture, in the culture war. You know, all the, the, new, the music, rap is transforming. Hip hop and, and then country, country is turning more hip hop and hip hop is, is joining country. I mean, there's, it's a, it's a you know, beautiful thing. It's, it's, it's America in action. It's the kind of thing the left hates. Because it takes away their right, to, their their reasons, and to get up and burn down shit and fuck your life up and like beat you, beat you, th knock your teeth out, punch you, call you a Nazi or whatever it is that they want to do. These little white thugs claiming black lives just because they want them to stay on the Democratic plantation. And y'all keep hearing me say that. And I'm not gonna apologize for it because that's what it is. Learn your history. So. You know, it's coming, y'all. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Trump 2020 is on the way. Uh, can we lose? Yeah, but we only lose if we don't get out and vote. Um, they cannot take it from us at this point. This is the Colonel. With hey, folks, just a quick reminder. Don't forget to like and subscribe on our YouTube channel as well as on our hellbrokeloose.com Check out hellbrokeloose.com and give me a subscribe there if you will. Join the mailing list. You can get updates. We also send out free prizes. We got several coming up. A reminder, we are doing our book giveaway on the 23rd. That's two more days. Uh, we've already got a lot of new subscribers on the site, and uh, but it's still a small number. So if you, if, you, if, you, if you throw your name into the hat, you got a good chance of winning a book. Uh, we've got three books we're giving away on the 23rd. Um, a Ben Shapiro book. Uh, the three ways to destroy, easy ways to destroy America, uh, disclose, uh, uh, disloyal by Michael Cohen and rage by Bob Woodward, uh, all being given away and all customized with some Stedman esque gonzo ink splatters. Uh, so those will be, those will be that drawing is in two days. So tune back in uh, on the 23rd. And, uh, in the meantime, go subscribe and, uh, throw your name in the hat. This is the Colonel Hellbrook loose.